What is going on YouTube and we are back with another one. Alright guys, so in this drop I'm coming at you with more plays to scoop up in the markets next week. And before I get to it, if you're looking to change your future financially using the stock market, do join the movement by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already locked into the channel and you know someone who could benefit from making money from the markets, whether that's a friend or family, do bless them by putting them on the channel. All right, so before we get this show on the road, I want to give a heads up to my UK investors. Now, what you guys must know is the end of the tax year is fast approaching. So that means you have until the 5th of April to ensure you're making the most of your ISA allowance, which is £20,000. Now, to be precise, you have until 11.59 p.m. on Monday, the 5th of April. As I've taught you guys, what goes in the winning trade is a good entry and an exit. And what relates to that exit is how you manage your tax. And if you invest for an ISA, that means when you come to sell, it's completely tax-free. So I always advise you guys, when you can, make the most of your ISA because it's going to mean you net more, more returns, more profits when you come to sell these investments and you can keep Uncle Sam away. So I want to give you guys the heads up on that one. Now, I want to also let you guys know you don't actually have to invest that money on Monday. All you need to make sure you do is transfer the money to your account by 11.59 p.m. for it to count towards the previous tax year. And on the 6th of April, your account will be replenished with that full 20000 to invest. So I want to clear that with you guys and show you how we handle business. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let's get ready for our first one. Up on screen, that's Drive Shack, ticker symbol DS, current selling at $3.39. This is a play I want to make sure stays on your radar. Now, since I brought them to your attention, this play has not dipped below that support line at $3. So it's showing signs of strength with that stock price. And I expect good things from this one moving forward, given the phase of growth that they're moving into, expanding their retail outlets and into different niches within the sport. So check me out on this one. So as I say to you guys, I want to catch this one in the low $3. So $3.10. $3.05 is a good time to pull the trigger in this one. Now, over the last couple of days, this play has dipped into our buy zone. So as you can see, they're moving in and out of our buy zone. And this is good signs for that stock price because it shows that they're moving into a phase of consolidation. So when we do see some market strength, when they, the catalysts do come into effect, you are gonna see this one move into the high threes and into the fours. You guys know I've got a price target on this plate of $5. And they're also gonna benefit as we move into the stage of economic reopening, as people start going out more and socializing. So as I say, entry on this one below $3.10. Remember, you can set your limit buys on this one. I'll show you guys, you head over to limit, type the number of shares that you wanna buy. And the price, simply select $3.10. Also important, select good till cancelled for your expiration and you're good to go. Another player I want to bring to your attention that's forming strong support is HIMS and HERS. Ticker symbol HIMS. This is a telemedicine play that focuses on the millennials. Now, we know they released earnings that weren't up to standard for the investors in this market. But what's happened now is all the investors have been shaken off and now's a good time to enter this one or dollar cost average down on this play. So as you can see, that strong support is forming around the $13 mark. You can see it's dipped down to that several times over the last couple of weeks. Now I've taught you guys, we like those plays that are resting on their support. Now let me remind you guys, we've seen this play move up to $25. So we know this one can move when it's ready to do so. And I do expect them to use the cash they have to scale their business, make those acquisitions, spend the money in the ways that they need to, to take the business to the next level. Next up, we've got Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. Now you guys know I like this play at $22. You'll know for a slight call off in that stock price from $23 before pulling the trigger on this one. And next week you will get the opportunity to grab this one in the 22s. Now this is a play that speaks for itself. If you look at their contract wins, it shows that their platform, that their product is in demand and it works well. And I expect them to win more contracts as we move forward. So I don't want any of you guys to get caught off guard with this play. So when you invest into this one, treat them as an investment. Be patient with this one. Look at them as an opportunity to build wealth in this play as we move forward. I expect good uplifts on their numbers as we progress through the year. Now, I'm going to put this on back on your radar. We've got Penn National Gaming, ticker P-E-N-N. -N. This is one of my top three plays within the gaming gambling space because of the exposure, the access that they have to bar stools, which acts as a filter of customers, millions of customers into the Penn National platform. 
Now, as more states come online, that increases the revenue generating potential for this play. So you've got plenty of room to run. Those are the kind of plays you want to be positioned into. Now, this 107 price tag you're seeing is temporary. So I want you guys to make the most of it because as we move forward, see some strength in the market, you are going to see this stock price climb. All right, guys, so those are the plays and you've got the strategy to go with. So I want to make sure you guys enter a fresh brand new week in the stock market next week at the top of your game. Let's continue to dominate. Let's talk about how we can level up as investors. Now, I'll talk to you guys about stock market cyclicality. Now, we have a lot of data over decades in the stock market, which gives reports and various statistics of things. Now, what I want to bring to your attention is that April is said to be the second best month in the year for the stock market. So as you guys level up as investors, I want you guys to start understanding the trends and the cyclical nature of the stock market and get prepped for what might just come to ensure that you guys have your positions baked out in some of our best plays in our portfolios. Also, what you guys must know is obviously right now we have high bond yields, which is causing a lot of volatility in the market. So history might not just hold true going forward, but it's important for you guys to understand the way the stock market moves and get you guys in the right frame of mind when you're making these investments. As I say, we're moving into a phase where we're seeing a lot of vaccine rollout and an economic reopening, which is gonna benefit a lot of companies, a lot of businesses, and ultimately that's gonna feed back through into the, stock into the stock market and into these stock prices. So I just want you guys to get prepped and ready with me as we move forward. All right, guys, we're rocking with the channel. You know what time it is. Now this question comes from Ricardo says, haven't been panicking in this volatile market, but been nibbling at plays at bargain prices. What's your views on REAC? That is American Resources, if you don't know that play, now it's been a while since you've touched on them. I feel like the latest news has been excellent with their acquisition and opening of the Perry County, as well as their dividend news. Considering all that, I feel the price now is a steal being under $4. What are your thoughts? Now, this is a great question, so thank you for sending it in. First up, I want to highlight what he said. Did you hear he said he wasn't panicking through this market volatility? And that is that champion mindset that I'm trying to get you guys all to develop to ignore the short-term price movements in the stock market. Just make the most of the opportunities because they will rise and you will hit success with me. So your question was focused around American resources. Now, if you don't know this play, this is one of the penny stock plays we've had in the portfolio since last year and made some good returns because we got in at a good entry on this one. They are focused on rare earth production, which is used in electric vehicles. So as the electric vehicle industry climbs, a play like our American resources that's focused on the raw materials that go into these electric vehicles will also rise as well. But this one is risky, is volatile given their low revenue profile and their projects that are in pipeline. So there's a lot of speculation around this play. So just reminds me, I want to highlight to you guys again, when we're entering into these plays, we either enter into a play in weakness or we enter into a play in strength, depending on the nature of the business. But those plays that are more speculative, a smaller, a lower revenue profile, we enter them into strength. So we want to see a bit of an uptick in that stock price before we start loading up because they haven't yet found their floor. Now, American Resources, given its penny stock status, given its low revenue profile, given the speculation around its projects, fits into that buy into strength category. So as soon as we see some strength in that stock price, we are gonna start entering into this one, but they're not quite there yet. We've seen that stock price come down and they're still coming down. So I wouldn't make entry into this play yet. I'll just exercise some patience, just hold off, wait for a bit of strength from that stock price, we'll monitor the price movement before loading up on this one. Now guys, right now it's about making timely entries into these plays during the market volatility. We don't be buying anything higher than we need to. Now I'm always running the technicals in the background and I'll let you guys know when's the time to pull the trigger on these plays. All right guys, that wraps things up. Do hit the like button for me. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button to join the journey. Also check our link down below to the Patreon. We can join our team of investors over at the Discord. Now as we progress with the next couple of days, I'm bringing the heat guys. A ton of more videos for you to ensure we're prepped and ready to continue dominating these markets as we do. So I'll catch you on the next one.